we are going on another adventure. Hi guys and welcome back to another Summer in Scotland adventure video. Thank you so much for clicking and joining me on this adventure and please subscribe if you are new to my channel. We started off the journey in Glasgow and drove three hours to Tay and Lone where we jumped on a 30 minute ferry to the beautiful, beautiful island of Gia. The island was honestly so picturesque and we settled in pretty quickly. This was our cute little spot right at the very, very, very tip of the island. After getting organised, we made our way around the boardwalk on the cusp of the coastline where we discovered a semi-hidden beach. Only a few days before deciding to go here did we actually only find out about the island and I'm so happy that we chose to come here. We sat for the rest of the night on this beach, we got cosy, rolled out a blanket, opened up a bottle of Prosecco and just enjoyed our time here watching the sunset by the fire. We ended up heading away from this lovely beach a little bit early due to the tide coming in. On the boardwalk back, our path was restricted by a gang of cows. And as you can see, the little car just off in the distance there, but they actually were slightly off to the side, so we managed to get by, no problem. We got cozy, of course, cooked some burgers on the stove. I'm just gonna do snacks. Oh, Two beers. Popped our chairs out, had a couple of drinks, got the music on and just relaxed and watched the sunset for the rest of the evening. Not only were we lucky enough to have the most incredible, incredible sunset, but we woke up to the most magical sunrise also. We got organised and made our way down to the island's beautiful gardens. We found this bamboo trail, which I've never seen anything like it before, so of course we went in and had a mitch around. We spent some time here, walked around, enjoyed the views. It was honestly so beautiful, and I know I keep saying everything was, but it genuinely was. There was also a viewpoint that you could walk up and visit where we sat and just honestly enjoyed the view. After walking around the gardens, we headed back to the van where we sat and cooked a shakshuka for breakfast. For being such a small island, there's honestly so much to do to fill your time. So after breakfast, we made our way back up north of the island and we hiked overlooking the Twin Beaches.
After our hike up and seeing how gorgeous the Twin Beaches were, we grabbed a nice coffee and then we headed down to the Twin Beaches ourselves to jump in the water. After spending the rest of the day at the beach, we headed back to our van. Here we have our butternut squash. For you guessed it, some dinner. There wasn't much to choose from, but we managed to rustle up a little curry, where once again, we sat by the fire and just had a beautiful night watching the sunset. We did manage to do a lot today, so we were really tired and ended up getting into bed very early with a little Netflix show. <laughs> Once again, we woke up to an incredible sunrise, but this ended up being actually our last day on the island, so... It's day three. Put my hair. <laughs> we relaxed, got ourselves together, got ready, and headed out for the day to enjoy the beautiful Isle of Gia. We spent the day walking around the island again. As I said before, there was so much to do, even though it was such a small island. And afterwards, we made our way to the fisherman caves. Hello? Here we found writing engraved on the walls said to be by the fishermen that were trapped here during the high tide. 1932 there. Shortly afterwards, we said our goodbyes and departed the island. I am now home. Thank you so much for hanging and joining me till the end of the video. Excuse my hair, but yeah, thank you so much. And I will hopefully see you next time.